first of all, uh, the transparency of exercises. I, I have had Russian inspectors and observers, uh, I've had observers from Belarus crawling through our barracks on our exercises for years. This is, this is not new, this is permitted. The Russians, of course, uh, have a completely different view on this. They are much more restrictive. But okay, well let's let's uh, let's say um, more and more transparency, like we had during the Cold War when there used to be uh, uh, observer cars. It was Soviet military liaison mission. Of course, the troops called it smell them, but that was the. Uh, <laughs> but that's what the uh, they. I used to see them driving around when we would have big exercises out in the German countryside. Let's do that. Reinvigorate that. Uh, I loved it when Russians would come see what we're doing because then they could see like. Holy hell, these guys are really good. Um, yeah. That would help deterrence. But the Russians would need to to live up to it. They haven't demonstrated that they're willing to do that. But that's that's one thing that would in, improve transparency. Uh, and that would cost us nothing. Uh, secondly, um, the this ridiculous threat that um, that somehow Russia is being encircled by NATO. You and all your viewers know that uh, about 6%, 6 percent, six percent of Russia's frontier touches NATO from Norway down to the Black Sea. That, that's obviously the safest part of their entire frontier. Um, nobody, Lithuania, I guarantee you, Lithuania is not going to invade Russia. I guarantee Estonia is not going to invade Russia. Let's say that. Let's, let's uh, create some opportunity and, uh, and everybody signs something that says, we will not invade Russia. Now, most people would say, well, what a ridiculous thing to say. But, but that's, that turns around uh, President Putin's claim that they're under this huge threat. And then he could wave that around and say, look, I got us a guarantee. We're look what I've achieved. Country. Right. And then, okay, good. Take your guys and go home. Uh, but the third thing uh, that I think uh, could be done is that uh, all of my European friends say we have got to keep up the dialogue. Absolutely. There are so many venues where we are already, um, venues like the OSCE, Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, the NATO-Russia Council, the uh, United Nations, and on and on and on. Um, okay, good. Let's let's uh, put some more uh, juice into that and, and uh, talk all day long. But be clear on who we're talking to. These guys use chemical weapons, poison on, on their opposition, they chased down a guy and poisoned him inside the UK. They chased down another guy and murdered him right here in Berlin in the Tiergarten. Uh, this is who we're dealing with. They, and they use cyber that ruins people's lives and they don't care. So let's, let's talk all day, all night, but make sure we understand who we're talking to.